Hello and welcome to the Switch Underground. My name is Danny and today we're going to test out the new Damon X Machina demo that just was announced during the Direct uh, this week and the game is officially released on the 13th. Now I haven't really decided if I want to buy it 100% or not. Uh, before I was 100% but then like money stuff happened so let's try out the demo and see if it is a game that we want to add to our collection immediately. I mean, it's surely it's a game that we'll add at some point, but this is a demo that you're seeing a lot of trends with now where you can, just like Dragon Quest, where the demo is kind of like the first part of the game, and then if you buy the game, it carries over. So this is exactly that, but for uh, Damon X Machina. And it should be a good time. I played the demo before on the channel, so I'm excited to see what they've changed. Sorry, I was a... Uh, I was fluffing my tea bag, and you can quote me on that. Ooh, that's good. Sound settings, English, please. Text settings, also English. I push the button. Is anything happening? This game has autosave, thank God. After playing Dragon Quest, dude, saving everywhere is a luxury. Okay, I'm remembering this. Should I turn up the volume a little bit for me? Nah, I think we're okay. New game, yes, please. 400 kilometers above the planet's surface. So, we didn't get any of this in the demo before. So this is all like you're playing the game for the first time. I mean... They could do with some sound effects here. I know that they're going for the uh, the ambiance, but really, I'd like to hear sirens, things blaring, really set the tone for the catastrophe that is clearly taking place. I'm getting Martian vibes, dude. That was a great movie, by the way. Okay, so part of the moon blew up? Okay, that explained not a lot. Is this us? Those calves, dude. We do not skip leg day, ever. Sorry, I'm just checking to make sure I'm actually recording. Sometimes I forget to push the button, and it sucks when that happens. Okay, oh, this is me. I get to choose. Okay, um, gender, male, or female. I've said it before. I'll say it again. This is 2019, dude. Skin color, I am pasty white, dude. Oh, I can be red? Hold on. All right, pasty white. Hair, uh, let's see. Let's, let's go, uh... Oh, oh man. And then they show the froze, dude. Look at that flat top. Is that what is that what we want? Does that look like me? Yeah. That is definitely my likeness. Absolutely, dude. Hair color. It absolutely needs to be a it's got to be wild, dude. I want to look like an eraser. There we go. Straight pencil. I like it. Uh, face, uh, shape, clearly round. Oh, wow, you can choose a lot of faces. Okay, I need the fattest one they got. Okay. Who's who's looking pretty thick? That's what, ooh. Eh, still not enough chins, dude. Eh, yeah, sure, that's close. Skin, I have bad skin. Give me... Oh, oh, yeah, there we go. Give me the ugliest guy. Oh, man, my boy would be looking rough. Okay. Man, that's like... Old school... Yeah, that's what we want. Eyebrows? All of it. I want all of them. I want the biggest ones you got, dude. Yes. Ooh, never mind. 
Give me like those that Latina pencil. There you go. Eyebrow position. We want mega high, dude. And the color. We want it to be um, eraser, of course. Perfect. Facial hair. I don't really think I need any. But if I can have a giant beard, that would be a... That's us, dude. That's us. And of course, we gotta go pencil. Okay. Eyes. Uh, we want we want anime eyes, dude. Big ones, giant ones. Oh god, we have no eyes. Oh god, look how big those are. Sweet Jesus. All right, deaf. We want to. Yeah. We want a thousand yard stare. That's what we want. Eye color. Red. Nah. Yeah, we'll go with that. Odd eye shape. Okay. Oh, I can have like a like a lazy eye. I don't want an odd eye shape. I don't know if I got one or not. Whatever. Scars. Give me Joker scars, dude. Man, we are getting pretty pretty rough looking. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Not that kind of scar. Ooh, that one's kind of neat. Alright. Ooh, yeah, there we go. That one. Ooh, look at that. Look at that, dude. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That is that is the fear in the hearts of your enemies right there. Ooh, never mind. That one looks like a lion. We'll take that. Scar tattoo color? Uh... Can we just go straight black like we're a juggalo or something? Perfect. Cosmetic. Eyeshadow. And eh, now nah, we don't need that. Voice, yes. What? No previews? Oh, replay. That's gonna be annoying. Yeah, we'll go with the first one. That's fine. Outer plug suit. Oh, I can choose my color here. Okay. Well, um, since we are an eraser, we might as well be looking like a pencil, you know? Maybe I don't really want to... You know what? Black, dude. I want to instill fear into the hearts of my enemies. Which means black and pink. Color three. Oh, yeah. That's it right there. That's my guy. Perfect. We'll send that guy to Twitter. <laughs> Alright, finish. Uh, his name is Danny. Look at that. It even knows what I Well, that's not what I wanted. I was like, it even knows what I want. And then it didn't. Danny. Good. That's me. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. How many Dannys can there really be? Probably a lot. I'm like a gay Rasputin man. Been playing a lot of Just Dance. So one of the one of the things with Astral Chain and like Dragon Quest is like the hero that ever talks, right? And I can't remember if that's the case here. Since we chose a voice, I'm hoping that he gets his chops, dude. Link accepted. Okay. Greetings. My name is Four. Sup, Four? I am the operator who serves as the liaison between orbital and outers like yourself. Okay. You have just recovered from transplant surgery to install your Neuralink terminal. Okay. At this time, your biometric data in the Ovalink will be updated and registered with Orbital. This is your arsenal on loan from Orbital. Looks awesome. Before we register you as a mercenary, you must complete an aptitude test. Accept the mission from this terminal and await dispatch. Frame rate looks about the same. 
Yeah, maybe it looks a little bit better than I remember. There's a dog. Pet the dog. Alright, dog. Can't pet the dog. What is this? Oh yeah, the multiplayer. That's gonna be pretty fun when it comes out, dude. Uh, let's do missions. We don't have anything. Gonna have to do the tutorial, of course. We might skip this one. Offer missions. I feel like we did this one before. Must submit an aptitude test. Alright, I'm ready. We're mostly concerned about the performance and the gameplay. There's a few gripes I had before. Uh, one was the mobility being a little wonky. And the most important thing that I had problems with was finding upgrades on the battlefield. Like, getting close to stuff and like being able to pluck them out off the ground was like impossible, dude. Okay, I'm ready. You can pick up signals and steal signs and steel beams to wield as a melee weapon. That's kind of cool. We might skip this part. Depends how boring it is. So if we jump straight into a mission, it's gonna happen. This is a live now. fire exercise, but you have nothing to worry about. Okay. Hardly anyone fails this test. Two veteran mercenaries will serve as observers during the test. Hardly anyone? Have you this met is me, Reaper dude? Of the Western Seven. I'll be joining you as an observer. Alright, Reaper. And I'm Queen of Panzer Crown. Charmed, I'm sure. Hey, you have face stuff too. The aptitude tests are selected at random from a pool of qualified mercenaries. Okay. They're here to make sure the test is conducted fairly and to intervene if your life is threatened. Uh, you said it was live said, fire, so uh... things get dicey. Just ask us for help. That said, don't expect to pass if you nearly die out here. I'm not. I'm gonna kick ass. And the world as a whole, outers like yourself are among our most valuable resources. I'm an outer. However, if the cost of your arsenal repairs consistently exceeds the profit you generate, your value may be reassessed. Wow, it's like a real job. I get it. Let's get this over with already. Like Four said, hardly anyone fails this test. Well, voice acting's you're not pretty sure good. What to do, prioritize your survival. Just trust your instincts, and you'll pass with flying colors. I would say the sound quality is actually better than Astral we Chain. Begin the aptitude test. Please direct your attention to your radar. The aptitude okay. test will begin once you cross the blue boundary. Be jump fly, Without okay. Proceed to the designated coordinates as instructed. Okay. Push. Oh, radar display legend. Okay, so. White is a player, is an ally, enemy units, mission objectives, arsenal wreckage, and enemy missile. Like, you're gonna have time to actually see that. Okay, R moves the camera, B jumps, hold and release to high jump. Oh, that just puts me down. Okay, so you gotta push on it, push on the L stick to, um... Alright, I'm here, dude. Aim with R, use ZR to use the weapon equipped in the right arm. Use the shoulder weapon, use auxiliary weapon. Holy crap, okay. So basically all your fingers you have arrived at the designated are gonna do something. The aptitude test will now begin. So that is the my will begin shortly. That's my Wow, that sensitivity dude. Too high. Too high. Can I can I switch that up? Sensitivity too high. Controller settings. Gameplay settings. There we go. Uh let's do Camera sensitivity, crank it down a little bit. Wow, motion control. Okay, we're gonna go down. I want it half. Let's see what half looks like. The vital points gauge will deplete. Oh, that's that's a little better. Good. Okay, so I have a shield. I have this thing. Should it fall to zero, the test will end. I have. Do I have a Y weapon? Align the sights in the center of your monitor over the target. Okay. Once locked on, you may fire. Your okay. Arsenal's OS will correct for any minor lapses in firearm accuracy. Use your boost ability to avoid enemy fire, and to get within range to return fire. Oh yeah, the boost. The boost is good. Oh, we want that. 
I would like to remap the, uh... Oh yeah, you can hold the boost, dude. My stamina, though. Charges fast. Destroying VP recovery tanks will generate a recovery area. Oh yeah, I remember that. Okay. Stim alert. Okay, there's a tank here somewhere. Where is he? Uh-oh. Okay, can we, can we lock on, please? Okay. So we get our shield. Assault rifle. Okay, go up. Oh yeah, if we kill those, it generates a little recovery thing. We can actually get in, right? There we go. Let's kill that thing. And it's dead. Okay, something's shooting at us now. Mobility still feels pretty good. I mean, it was a little janky before. It still feels a little janky, but I think that's mostly just because I'm, like, wildly out of practice. So, do I actually have a different gun? I don't. Alright, let's look for some enemies here. Where are they at, dude? I don't see anybody on my radar. Okay, they're over here. Okay, so the red zone. What is the red stuff? I don't remember. Just gonna kill that thing. Good. Next one. It's gotta be over here, right? Okay. Oh, the enemy AIs are the orange ones. One's starting to fly at me, right? This is an enemy right here. There he is. Alright, we're just gonna boost over here. We're gonna dust these dudes. You know what I might actually do is get on the ground. I remember I liked fighting on the ground a lot more. It was just a little easier than in the air, dude. Oh yeah, look at that. That's gonna let us recover something. VP. Okay. Gonna get vertical. Okay, those guys are good work. Get some rest before you tackle your next assignment. Okay. That's it? We're done? Test complete. You have passed. Congratulations. Your arsenal link key has been received. You are hereby recognized by Orbital and the Consortiums as a registered mercenary. From now on, you will help us work toward world peace by completing assigned missions. Thank you for your service. You're welcome. Mission over. Well done. Oh, we can return to base. You can go collect stuff when it's over or not. Chat menu, who am I gonna talk to? I don't think there's anybody here. Um, okay, so we can install some stuff on our arsenal now, right? Like, get rid of this dumb shield. Okay, I don't care about the mission. How do I upgrade the arsenal? Do I gotta go next to it? Or maybe I can't do that yet. Let's go see if there's another mission for us. I can sprint. It's good. Missions. Oh, hangar is not even unlocked, dude. Sweep the city. Immortals have invaded Grace City with Sky Union's territory. Team up with other reclaimers to eliminate them. Okay. Mission briefing. This mission is a request from Sky Union. The details are as follows. Hostile AI forces have invaded Sky Union's territory within the Oval Link. Of course. Each assigned mercenary must quickly clear out the enemies within the designated area. Can do. We have also confirmed that the invading enemy force consists of these seized AI. 
So stupid little drones and For tanks mission, that I just fought. The area has been divided among all participating reclaimers. You will be accompanying Bulletworks. You? It says Danny. I have a name. Imagine a game that actually has the ability to say names. Briefing over. Ooh, hangar. Can I swap out something now? Ooh, install equipment. Good. Uh, weapons. Yes. My right weapon. Uh, that's my left weapon I want to change. Left weapon. We're going to put another gun on. Oh, wait. Did I screw up? Right weapon. There we go. Two guns. That's what we want. Um, We're not going to use the shield. Who cares? We don't need a shield right now. There's nothing I can actually put on my shoulder. If I did, I'd put on, like, uh... I could change the paint. We're not going to change the paint. Not yet. Let's go. So it looks like the loop here is get mission, choose loadout. After you know what the mission is, jump in mission. Somewhere in the middle, they'll do story. I imagine it's during the briefing. We'll see. Oh, load times. I don't remember them being... Man, that's not bad, dude. Hey, rookie. If you got any questions, hit me up. I'd be happy to show you the ropes. Thank you, John. Those guys look way more badass than me. Gotta put up with? Come on, Corporal. When are you gonna stop treating me like a newbie? Four. Never. Send us the mission data. Uploading. That should be everything. Consult this data for detailed information about the mission area. So if she's four, what approach. happened to one, two, and three, dude? The mission will begin soon. They probably became sentient. Turned on us, and that's why we're here. Get I mean, that's how these things always go, right? Okay, Falcon. Oh yeah, the music in this game is awesome. Using objects and vehicles, push to grab and hold certain objects and enemies. Held objects can be used as weapons and pressing the attack button assigned to the arm holding the object. Okay. Scanning battlefield. Pick up, pick up. Femto particle density is low. Electronic yeah, devices dude. will not be Throw affected. It. Initiating each arsenal stably. Opening squad Never mind. communications <laughs> channel. Begin the mission. Hey, rookie. Looks like you made it to the battlefield in one piece. Welcome to the Oval Link! Okay, Exciting, so these are like my... Okay. So my Grim Reaper shoots really fast and I have a lot of ammo. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. Your name's Johnny D. I'm with Bulletworks. And that lovely ray of sunshine is the Corporal. He's with Bulletworks too. Please remember to use my call sign. Oh. My call sign is my real name. Man. I wish I had a cool sounding call sign like Falcon. A call sign so assault rifle board. plus 44, oh, that's ammo? If you say so, Corporal. Let's, let's anyway, take a look. Bola works in place I might be full up on ammo right now. The other areas are being handled by other reclaimer squads. Choose your partners, wife. In this line of work... Ooh, I can shoot both at once. Corporal's right. Beautiful. You definitely want to steer clear yeah, so that definitely is ammo. Good. And you'll learn fast who's hot and who's not. Anyway. Back on top. Sky you managed to hold this area for and you a getting long close. Time. But every now and then, AI invader will show up knocking at the door, trying to get in. Now I remember that being happened. able to we'll like clean house. when you had like a sword, you'd be able to like pretty whap much. things you pretty good. We already know about these mortals, but just in case, they're responsible for corrupting all these AI that we've been sent to destroy. All right, where's but everybody? Our arsenals are more than a match for them. These AI might oh my God! Fish in a barrel. The immortals must be destroyed on sight. We'll get a bonus for each one we take out. Stay within the mission area. Four will alert you if you're about to stray. Just leave it to me. Also, sometimes on the battlefield, you can salvage equipment for your arsenal. Whatever you find, you keep. Try to recover any equipment. Mission complete. Oh shit! Executing that was too fast. Return sequence. Return oh no! According to instructions. I didn't get to. I didn't get to salvage oh, anything. Huh? Hold on. Looks like the rookie's still in one piece too. Time to head home and. There was nothing to salvage here. I don't like how this smells. Something's coming. You and your nose. Access granted. 
Sky Union's radar station has confirmed the appearance of immortals in your vicinity. Oh, that must be good. Transmitting target data. Where are they? So, I mean, the game is pretty straightforward, dude. It's like, kill stuff, you're a badass. And that guy is big. I think this was in the demo before. What am I even looking at? Sizes. Keep class? Oh man. Does he have health? Mission update. Sky Union has notified us of a change to this mission. You are to stop these immortals from advancing further in the Sky Union's territory. How come I can't see his health? What? You've got to be kidding me! What's the call, Corporal? We're right where we need. Stay back. Stay like back. That. Uh oh. Fine. I guess we're doing this. There are no whiners in bullet books. Besides, I'm sure BG planned this. Really we're gonna need some ammo. Yeah, the, we left the mission area. Okay, we're gonna eat around a little bit. Keep shooting at him. I mean, we're doing damage, but. I mean, that's pretty. Maybe I should try to throw a car at it. I don't see any vehicles to throw, though. Oh, there's one down there. You know what? Screw this. Let's get spicy. Oh, that's not a vehicle. That one is. Whoa, did I just do a special move? Here, throw this. Nailed it. Wow, that did a lot of damage. Okay, let's find some more cars to throw. That worked well. Uh, although I don't see any more cars. Could use some ammo, though. Oh yeah, dude. When this game gets moving, it gets moving. Fierce Gale? What are you talking about? He's still alive, huh? He's gotten stronger, it seems. Corporal Johnny G! Get out of the way! Bro, I'm not sure that this is actually... Johnny G. We'll take it from here. Okay. So I was just fighting them for no reason. Should have thrown a car. Lots of cars. I did throw the one. That worked well. So these are like the badasses, right? He's got like a lightsaber. He jumps up there and makes me look like a chump. Ooh. I'm the superior pilot. Just focus on defeating these for now. Okay. Fine. But someday you'll be next. That's this one. Man, I need one of those. Good job, everyone. So, how about, how about I salvage this and, like, get stuff? Initiating return sequence. Is there anything here to grab? Like, some tech? I don't think so. Just my allies. Falcon. Johnny. Yeah, I'm remembering this exactly like the demo before. Which is a bit of a bummer. I thought it might be different. I mean, maybe it's just in my head. But it certainly doesn't feel any different. I mean, the story, I mean. Dang, you know what I need is like a... I need like infinite stamina. So I can just be like, yeet, yeet. All day. Alright, we can skip this. Sorry. Alright, well we got some money. No rewards, that's a bummer. Let's do one more mission, and then we'll call it good. One more mission, we're gonna get a good feel for it. I'm still up in the air about whether or not I want to buy it. I see we have a new face with us. Let me introduce myself. I'm Crimson Lord, second in command of Bullets. Sup. And this is Diablo. El Diablo, he doesn't talk. The strong, silent type. You did well out there. 
Don't these suits look a little sure oversized, dude? Like a little funky? What an ordeal. I just wanted to score some quick credits. Good thing those two swooped in to save us. Johnny G's my man. We're still alive. That's all that matters. Why does Falcon you look really like gotta work on your praise, from that Apache guy from the Marvel comics? Until next time. Goodbye, friends. Thanks for hanging out. I will out. provide all necessary information for completing future missions. Thanks. Is there anything you'd like to ask me? What are you doing tomorrow night? Oh. Immortals are a new form of life. That much is certain. They're After giant the robots. Fell, an unknown phenomenon caused some AIs to regard humanity as a threat that must be annihilated. Wow, talk about sentinels. These immortals have their own unique language as well as individual personalities. They can also corrupt other AIs and human weapon systems. Oh, wow. Assimilating them into their ranks to bolster like, their forces. They're like the Borg, dude. Working alongside the consortiums, our goal at Orbital is to control all areas in the Oval Link. Missions to eliminate immortals are assigned to mercenaries like you to achieve that goal. Thank you. Your individual ability has the greatest impact on your arsenal's power. You can also mm -hmm. have experimental weaponry loaned to you by building your reputation with specific consortiums. Oh, I would like experimental weapons. Building your weapons. service record through repeated battles is the fastest way to becoming as strong as Crimson Lord and Diablo. Okay. Your reward payout is higher than usual this time because your mission objective was updated from its original listing. Hmm. So that means if you take there like side missions, you're going to make more money. But I do not recommend it as it can leave an unfavorable impression with the client. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So this was the like cybernetic store, right? And it's open. Enhancing outers in the lab. Your outer can be enhanced at the lab through surgical body modifications. These, mod these modifications can also enhance your arsenal's abilities. Okay. Uh, I can only change appearance. That's just like what I look like, right? Right? No. We look like Rasputin uh, from a kid and play video, and that's what we want. The dog, super important. I don't know why, I don't know when, but it will be. Okay. So this is telling me what? I don't want to view the log. I want to actually change my guy. I remember being able to do that on the fly. That's the multiplayer. Well, let's take a look at one more mission here. Oh, there's the hangar. I don't have any new guns, right? What about armor? Yeah, I don't think I own anything new. I do like that you can switch like individual parts, right? That's going to be super cool. And I don't have any new weapons. Nothing here, no pylon thingies. So I mean, we're basically the same. We could paint ourselves, but let's take a look at them. What's a message? It was like my email. Greetings, Danny. We are Zen. If you are not familiar with the concept of Zen, it refers to life of hardships, but it also represents everything that it is. That is. It is at once part and some fragment and whole. Well, that's freaky. As our philosophy is the peak of technology, we provide all reclaimers with the latest weapons and arsenal tech. Oh good. There are those in this world who claim that we would sell our souls for science. Nevertheless, we will support you with our latest technological advancements. The challenges that await you are not like are not unlike those faced by your predecessors. We look forward to witnessing all your accomplishments. Well that's nice. And some other stuff from the boss that we don't care about. Whatever. That's kinda cool that we get that system. Is that just me, right? Okay. Let's do missions. What's a free mission? I don't have free missions. With the appearance of Colossal Immortals, Sky Union has decided to reinvestigate the neutral zone. You will be provided prototype weapons for this mission. Mission briefing. We'll, we'll take some pro prototype weapons. Briefing will now commence. 
Okay. This mission is a request from Sky Union. In response to the appearance of Gigant class immortals during the previous mission, Sky Union has deemed it necessary to investigate neutral areas to prevent future immortal invasions. I've uploaded a map of the mission area. The Thank area you. you'll be investigating shares a border with Sky Union's territory. Okay. Complete any necessary preparations, then stand by and await dispatch. Briefing over. Thanks for the briefing. I guess. Gigant class immortals. Savior. So named after the mythological race. Colossal beings born from the blood that fell when the primordial god Uranus was castrated. Hold on. If this was a business meeting, I would say there's a lot to unpack there, but we're going to focus on Uran Uranus castration. One could say that in this gigantomachy of our time, we are like unto Zeus, brandishing his mighty thunderbolt. Okay. Real wordsmith, this guy. Yeah, no kidding, See, dude. I heard you were the first to face off against one of these. What was it like? Oh, these were the dudes. Ah, next. We don't need to restrain ourselves against powerful foes, but bring to bear the full force of our absolute justice. Mm. So I can't remember if they actually well, talked in the yeah, other one. Yeah, but we still need to investigate. Better than being completely in the dark, that's for sure. Sure. In any event, it is essential that every last immortal be driven out. They are a blight to be purged by humanity. Okay. Um, can I ask a question? Who's this guy? Go ahead. Oh, you're that straight shooter from Innocence. Have you been here the whole time? Notes? His name I is have. Notes? I'm actually responsible for gathering information for our team. Please ask your question. Yes, right. The information we have on those Gigant class immortals indicates that conventional weapons are ineffective. Oh, well, this is so where we get the new stuff. So what do we do if we encounter one? In the previous encounter, the area's wide-range radar and communications tower were destroyed. We gathered what little information we could from the battle data of the Arsenal combatants. Beyond that, we know little else. That's it. Since Bulletworks was responsible for their destruction in the last encounter, it is highly unlikely that a similar type of immortal could be hiding nearby. Because they murdered them all. Highly unlikely, but not impossible either. Precisely. Which is why Sky Union is loaning special weapons to those who accept this mission. Testing those weapons is a secondary purpose of the mission. Okay. Ah, a secondary purpose. I see. So there's a chance these untested weapons might work. But they're just loaning them to us? Yeah, I'm gonna need more incentive than that. Especially when there's a chance these weapons are total duds. Bro, live well, on the edge. You just gotta assume all the risk and that's that? They can't sweeten the deal at all? On, work with me here. Yeah, it's getting kind of hot in here. I'll see what I can do. Thanks for holding out for a greater reward. You disappoint me, hero. Your older brother would never engage in such unbecoming conduct. Dun dun dun. Okay, I admit it. Dev is more of a hero than I am. He's all about getting up close and using his own power to take down enemies. But me? Well, if someone's gonna give me a powerful new weapon to play with, I am not gonna say no to that. That guy is not animated. Impressive. Yes. As mercenaries, we answer to a higher calling. One that demands we destroy the immortals by any and all means at our disposal. Such is our burden as agents of justice. I imagine being rich enough to afford a major These guys are being all serious, and here I am, just looking like an eraser with, like, a mustache. My siblings and I, we have to work hard so we can afford to eat. Okay. It'd really help if you sat this one out, Savior. What do you say? I wish you good luck. If you fight as a stalwart agent of justice, I will not need to enter the fray. That, in turn, would entitle you to my share of the reward. Deal. I'll do my part. I have completed negotiations with Sky Union. They are willing to extend the loan period indefinitely if you agree to provide them with all future battle data. Sweet. Well, in that case, I accept this mission. What about you, Prince? When duty beckons, ours is not to refuse. Innocence will also accept. This game is going to have a real problem with trying to be more than it really is. 
I didn't go to the hangar. Were my weapons in there? Crap. Well, let's hope they automatically equip, dude. Scanning battlefield. Oh no, I got new ones. No particle density is uneven, but no, short range radar will not be affected. Yeah, I do. Initiating each arsenal data link. Ooh, there Opening we go. Squad communications channel. Begin the got, mission. Got my missiles, man. Whoa, who's that? What you shoot? Move out. Don't let them swarm you. They're weak one on one, but in a group, they're a real pain to deal with. Rookie, no problem, dude. Try using those missiles of yours. The displayed number is your locked on targets. Fire more missiles with each target you acquire. <laughs> you really want to stop us? You gotta go all out. I was ready. Oh, so you're the little rookie I've been hearing about. <laughs> you look more broken in than I expected. Name's Deva of the Steel Knights. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, knock it off. I met the rookie at the briefing. Look at all these misses, dude. His notes are off handling another area. Don't worry, rookie. I'm oh, sure wow. Team up with them eventually. Fritz, that's I can do like a... One of these days, Looks really like Eric is playing the new Super horses. Nintendo. If you did, I doubt he'd notice. Stuff. I barely remembers we even exist. The truth. Oh, whoops. You gotta make sure to keep the rookie here in the loop. Now, we mercenaries usually form groups to do this work. Collectively, we're known as reclaimers. As a group, it's easier to take on bigger missions and negotiate for whatever supplies we need. If you don't want to die, surrounding yourself with allies is the way to go. You teamed up with Bullet Wars before, yeah? Among reclaimers, they're one of the larger groups. All former military types, experts in the art of war. We're talking the best of the best of the best of our reclaimers, no question. And that Prince guy? He Who actually like a group of reclaimers called the Five Hells. And that crew is something else, that's for sure. They're nobles, basically. I don't they have a crew. Clouds, but average Joes like us to work for. That's one way of putting it. Still, even nobles have duties they can't shirk by paying off the masses. Well, whatever. We're all mercenaries in the Oval Link. And, as much as I hate to admit it, that guy's a good mercenary. Damn good, even. I bet you'd give him a run for his money in a fight. You're no slouch, either. Don't forget why we're the Steel Knights. Obviously. Me and my little brother, Zoa, are the only reclaimers of the Steel Knights. A two-man group like ours might seem odd, but that's just how we like to roll. The best way to learn about the more famous reclaimers is to check them out for yourself. Some of them are crazy. Just absolute nutcases who dive into this mess without even blinking. It's a real freak show, that's for sure. Anyway, all reclaimers receive missions from Orbital and the Consortiums. We complete those missions and get paid. That's all there is to it. But we all got our own reasons for doing this. Just check us all out, like Zoa said. Draw your own opinions. At the end of the day, we're all just mercenaries fighting to survive. Now let's get to work. About time. If you find okay, I want those missiles. Let us know. Later, rookie. Um, bye, I guess. All right. So what? What was that, dude? They just like gotta do better than that. dropped a bunch of story on us for some reason. I mean, I get it, but uh, seems a little weird. Sufficient weapon data collected. Thank Mission you. accomplishment recognized. Executing Let me. automatic return sequence. Return according to instructions. Guess we didn't find. Oops. Sorry, bud. Man, I gotta tell you, I'm leaning towards not getting it at this point. I mean, it's fun, but like I said, the game is really trying to be more than it really is with the story just feels a little, I don't know how to describe it. Like the characters feel like they're from a game in the 2000s. And the way that they're animated feels that way too. I mean, this game really should just focus on blowing shit up all the time. Like, now that I think about it, getting those actions, like the speaking during the action parts, that's actually okay. I find that easier to swallow than the um, stuff that you do when you're getting a mission. But, um, I don't know. I'm still up in the air, I think. We'll see what the hype is like. I mean, if there's a lot of people to play with online, that would be really neat. 
And if you can, like, do missions together and stuff, that would be really cool. So do I actually have anything I can do here? I don't think so. I mean, you can really modify this stuff. Everything's got attachments. I got my new weapon. Got the missiles. Oh, wait. No, no, no. I don't want to do that. I already have it equipped, right? Yeah, it's up there. Yeah, look at that thing. It's huge, and it makes no sense, and I'd rather have a sword. But uh, I did all that during the last demo. But I don't remember doing that mission during the last demo, so I think we're definitely doing some different stuff now. But all this stuff, the hangar here, unlocking things, that's all kind of familiar. The hangar looks pretty cool. I mean, after playing Astral Chain, this game loop is like... I don't want to say it's old, I mean, it's got to do something. But, um, I don't know. I'd be curious what people are going to think about this one. Uh, the game feels better, the aiming feels better, before you were, were having a lot of trouble, like, actually hitting enemies. Turning down that sensitivity is a mandatory must. And the dog here, you need to be able to pet it. I mean, that's it, I'm pushing all the buttons. I can't pet the dog. And that is a big problem. We'll figure that out. I'll probably play the demo a little bit more on my own to make my decision. Um, and we'll see how it goes, man. Uh, this is about the first 45 minutes of the game. If you bought it retail, this is exactly what you'd go through. And, you know, try to make your character uh, look as awesome as this, dude. Let's see if I can get a close-up shot. Here, come here. Oh wow, now I can I can get right up with the crotch. No. There. Oh here, here's what we'll do. We'll do a we'll do a spin move. And then we're gonna take a video of this for Twitter. Boom. Okay, that kinda made me sick. Maybe we won't use that one. Uh, anyway, if you guys are gonna play the demo, cool. Let me know in the comments below what you think of the game. Um, and if you're gonna buy it, I have a feeling coming off of Astral Chain, there's no way this game is going to compare. But I could be wrong. Maybe there's something I'm not seeing and it's really, really a lot better experience playing with people. I mean, you definitely would be some like a cool game to chill in with like a Discord or something. Um, I actually have a Discord. Like, we could all kind of play together. I guess. That would be kind of neat. Anyway, um, be good to each other, and I will see you guys in the next one. There's some more stuff that dropped on the direct that I want to check out, uh, like Kirby. So we'll try that one. And uh, have a great day. Take care. Oh, it's got gyro. Look at that. See? Sorry, what? Okay.